This video is very much inspired by the YouTuber Shni. He does fascinating analysis videos on filmmaking and storytelling. He has way more subscribers than me, so it feels kind of weird to shout him out like this, but anyway. I recently rewatched The Return of the King for about the hundredth time with a group of friends. And afterwards, I overheard some of the ladies talking about the scene when Eowyn kills the Witch King, and how freaking awesome it is. And it got me thinking about strong female characters and feminism in stories. There are a lot of stinkers out there when it comes to girl boss moments. Here are a few examples. I did not go to law school and rack up six figures in student loans to become a vigilante that is for billionaires and narcissists and adult orphans. <laughs> I need you to fix his suit. The suit is literal perfection. It will be. When it fits a woman. These one-liners and badass scenes are corny, too on the nose, and just don't feel very satisfying for the average viewer. And on paper, this scene shouldn't be much different. I mean, look at what's being said in this scene. The Witch King, a man, says, You fool, no man can kill me. Very arrogant, very degrading, very toxically masculine. Eowyn answers, I am no man, and kills him. This is such a blatantly feminist message, it could have easily been very cringe and on the nose. Still, people roll their eyes at these scenes, but not this scene. For some reason, this scene is universally loved by men and women, traditional as well as progressive, myself included. Why? How? What's the difference? I'll try to provide an answer, but first, I'll address a small thing. We as viewers don't really know what the magical rules are in this scenario. It seems silly, of course, to imagine the Witch King putting a spell on himself that protects him from men, but not women. Why would he do that? That just seems dumb. And also, we see Mary actually hurting him. Uh, but. He is not a man, he's, he's, he's like a man, but he's not a human man, he's a hobbit, but let's not worry about that for the moment, and instead analyze this scene from a thematic and storytelling perspective. What's the context of this scene? And I think I have an answer. To understand why this moment works, it helps to try and figure out why others like it doesn't. In these bad empowerment scenes, the women are one putting down other people, most often men, to empower themselves. Putting someone else down to empower yourself is otherwise called bullying. 2. Having a self-centered viewpoint and not caring about others. 3. Using the very same methods as the bad men use to achieve their goals. That is, trampling on other people and using brute force and offensive behavior. Essentially, these girl bosses are just evil men with women's appearances. They're not actually feminine. They're not actually feminist. They're just anti menist Eowyn scene is the one that is actually female empowering. The one that is actually feminist. And here is why. Look at this scene for a moment. It's not even sharp. Well, that's no good. You won't kill many orcs with a blunt blade. Come on. To the smithy, go! Eowyn is clearly a very motherly person. She expresses a lot of traditionally feminine qualities. She is caring, encouraging, supportive, nurturing, aiding, affectionate, kind, helpful, and loving. She fights the war by spreading hope and being uplifting to the people around her. This is in stark contrast to her brother Eomer's view of the war. You should not encourage him. You should not doubt him. I do not doubt his heart, only the reach of his arm. To him, war is a practical matter. The force that fights the best, has the strongest forces, has the most men, that is who wins the war. But Eowyn has a different perspective. She fights the war differently. When the men of Rohan dismiss Mary, she doesn't. She encourages him, she believes in him, she literally lifts him up so that he can fight. 
So we've established that Eowyn fights very feminine, with love instead of brute strength, in an uplifting way instead of a bullying way. Fast forward through half an hour of amazing battle sequences and now she stands face to face with the Witch King of Angmar. She is incredibly heroic, incredibly brave, but it's no use. She can't overpower the Witch King alone. But she's not alone. Mary, the person she gave hope to, the person she believed in, the person who was only able to fight because of her, it is thanks to him that she is able to kill the Witch King. It's not that Mary fails and then she succeeds, no, they slay the Witch King together. It is thanks to her feminine and motherly way of fighting the war that they succeed. And we get this amazing scene. You fool! No man can kill me. Die now. I am no man. When the Witch King says, no man can kill me, what that means is, no one is stronger than me, no one sits higher than me, no one can overpower me or beat me with brute force. And when Eowyn answers, I am no man, what that means is, I am not a selfish bully who sits on a monster with a crown on my head and a horde of brute strength behind me. I do not fight with violence, I do not fight alone. Eowyn fights the war with love, with hope, with her people, with friends, with family, with fellowship. And that is how and why she can defeat the Witch King. I am no man. Ah!